Hey there, my name is Deep Chan and I will be explaining to you why machine learning is not really a good choice in 2024 for you. So in the world of AI and machine learning, you might be thinking why would I suggest you to not learn machine learning? So this video will be completely about that only. Especially if you are a fresher, you might want to see this video completely. So let's talk about the complexity of learning machine learning. You might have taken an online course whether it's free or paid in machine learning, but you must have observed that it is a bit difficult and and a way different than regular software engineering concepts. Now, machine learning is something that you cannot be learning overnight or just over a course. You need a very solid foundation in mathematics, statistics and programming. On top of that, there are a lot of complex topics that you might feel overwhelmed as a fresher or as a beginner. Many learners especially who are just starting out learning machine learning easily give up on these topics to truly master machine learning you need years and years of practice and very deep understanding of concepts behind every algorithm that is there in the existence now times have changed now it is not anymore like 2020 or 2022 where machine learning and pure data science was very demanding let's consider even if you learn machine learning completely as a fresher it's really tough to break into the job market today Due to economic slowdown companies have really stopped hiring freshers for machine learning data science and all the irrelevant roles to that the reason behind this is machine learning takes a lot of time to learn understand and get used to all the things that are there in it as a fresher you might not be exposed to such level of experience when you compare someone to who's experienced like 2 or 3 years most of them who are straight out of college do not have industry experience so there you see that is the problem behind not hiring freshers for ml and data science roles if at all if you have done internships in machine learning data science or deep learning it is still difficult to break into such market because companies are preferring to hire only experienced people in this so don't be worried let me tell you what is going on in the market let's go back to 2024 january when i was in my final year and i started job hunting i was in the thought that i would land up somewhere like data science or machine learning engineer role but it definitely did not happen now when i started applying jobs from january i just started to see that from february march april gradually i could see that the machine learning and data science which are pure roles had started to disappear or maybe it's not meant for freshers now instead it is diverting to a role called generative ai now if you have machine learning and deep learning experience it's good but if you don't have you need not worry about that because generative ai deals only with LLMs and prompt engineering there is no rocket science behind it you just need to know how to prompt a LLM and get a output from that since we are in a LLM race most of the big tech companies have started building their own LLMs beating each other every week or maybe every day since these big tech companies are competing and producing the best AI models in the world it is really easy for smaller startups or mid sized companies to build their own AI products with that So that is where demand for generative AI comes in. Every mid-size or small-size company needs some sort of chatbots or anything related to LLM. Now, since you know a little bit of machine learning and deep learning, it's definitely an advantage when you apply for roles like generative AI. But what you don't know is you don't know to build backend or frontend. So basically what I'm telling you is to slightly switch towards full stack development too. Now, if you start applying for generative AI roles as a fresher, it might be not as technically demanding as what you can expect for machine learning or data science in generative ai you definitely need to know a little bit of machine learning and deep learning but you might not need it in very depth all you need to do is call some api and do the backend stuff that is required by the website or the mobile application so this is the reality of market today now if you want to successfully transition to a generative ai role let me know in the comment section if you need a full road map for it But in this video I'll explain briefly what to do. Now since you have learned machine learning and deep learning you might be knowing a little bit of scikit learn and tensorflow and pytorch all of that. Apart from this you need to learn backend. If you're interested in python you can learn django, fast api or flask. Now if you're interested in javascript you can go for express js. Now also you need to learn how to build front ends. For front end you need html, css and other frameworks like anything like react angular or vue js in this way you will be still relevant to working in a ai field and you will be termed as ai ml engineer and in case if they tell you to train some machine learning model yes you can do because you have a little bit of experience training it already so this comes in handy 
but still if you are very interested in deep machine learning concepts and you want to do some research work then research will be really good for you i guess you should take a masters and take a phd and do something great for the industry but if you are just out of college and you want job immediately then i would suggest that you should go for generative ai instead of fighting in the lane of data science and machine learning engineer role now let's say you don't want to go towards full stack development too but you want to stay in the data science industry there are so many options that i can tell you you can switch to careers like data engineer ml ops engineer ai product manager or data analyst so these all roles don't require machine learning or full stack development but my suggestion for any fresher out there straight out of college who's trying to get into the field of ai i would definitely recommend generative ai now because the future is going to be only based on generative ai products you can see a lot of development around you itself every other app is integrating a chatbot or some companies are even automating tasks using ai if you want a full road map on generative ai let me know in the comment section i can really help you with that so hope you enjoyed this video if you really liked it leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more such videos